Hey guys, Shadow here. Welcome back to another Gears of War 5 video. Today we are going to be discussing the official cover artwork, release date and so much more in Gears 5. Recently, if you haven't seen it already as it's been making its trips around the internet, yesterday there was an official Gears 5 listing made by the Taiwanese Video Games Rating Board, which reveals a whole ton of product information on Gears 5, with most importantly highlighting a release date as well as also the box cover art teasing more of the major conflict within the Kate character as she is stuck between the light and the dark. As you can see on screen in the video right now, the Taiwanese listing does confirm that the game will be referred to as Gears 5, dropping the Of War from its title, the release date being a possible September 10th, 2019, as well as also including possibly our first look at the box cover artwork for Gears 5. During the Gears 5 campaign, we do know that Kay Diaz is the main protagonist of the game as she journeys across planet Sera to uncover the Locust origins and the truth behind her inner demons as she struggles within the middle between human Humanity and the Locust Swarm which is heavily shown within the new cover art. Taking an in-depth look at the official cover art included, we can see that Kate most prominently being centered, holding up the Locust Pendulum Necklace, as we both saw in the ending of the Gears 4 campaign, as well as the E3 2018 reveal trailer. You can see within her facial expression that she is looking more and more evil as her family ties to the Locust creatures grow stronger by the day. Starting off on the left side, of course, which right now looks to be the most interesting and engaging side, in the top left we can see Mira, the queen of the Locust Horde. Now while a lot of people within the Gears community are speculating about this, meaning she is returning some way, therefore being a huge spoiler, I don't believe this is true whatsoever but instead could mean that maybe we can expect to see more of Queen Mirror within Cage Dreams, just like it is already seen within the Nightmare Remix trailer. Next up below Mirror we have what looks like a new Berserker, probably being the Swarm Double Ganger as a Swarm Zerker. The Swarm Berserker looks to have a new set of armor featuring these crazy spiky shards. Maybe Maybe a natural evolution caused by Adam Phoenix's countermeasure machine, similar to the emulsion crystallization that we did see on the Locust, turning them into the new Swarm Science. Finally, for the antagonist shown for actually the first time on the cover art ever within the Gears series, we do see the Swarm Warden, a new enemy revealed within the E3 2018 trailer who is also will be making a new appearance in the upcoming Hive Buster comic series. The Warden can be seen rocking its custom armor with the helmet, kind of like looking like a Ferengard Guard variant. It is of course dual wielding its breaker mace like new weapons. Going over to the right side of Kate, we have top right a return of the bearded Marcus Phoenix, who of course, even though not being the main protagonist anymore, is a huge asset of a character to not only the story of Kate, but the continuation of the current Gears storyline timeline. Just below Marcus, we have the other members of the new squad with Del Walker rocking the beanie, which I always do dig. It does look like Del is holding a new heavy weapon, which straight away looks like a flamethrower of some kind. With a return to the new Hope facility already teased in the E3 2018 gameplay trailer, it is actually perfect timing for a flamethrower to make its return to the new Gears arsenal of weaponry. JD Phoenix can be seen with his new design of a shaven head, a swarm pouncer like scar across his face, beard, and of course the mysterious infected light right arm. It's very interesting to see JD Phoenix going from the main protagonist character in Gears 4 to what looks like a sideline character as the story does focus in on Kate. A final character that is also making its debut on the cover artwork in the bottom right is, I think at this time or this stage, Jack 3.0, as Damon Baird must have found the time to upgrade the companion bot ready for a new adventure. Lastly, within the bottom center, the Red Blood Field area seems to be showing what looks like Mount Kadar, which was also teased as somewhere else we would be revisiting within the E3 2018 trailer, as the mountain itself is, at this point, the most important point of interest within the Gears of franchise so far, so it's super exciting to be able to have this opportunity to return to some of the locations that we had a chance to discover all those years ago back in Gears 2. Having Kate Diaz within the middle between the leader of the Locust Horde and the de facto champion of humanity who stabbed her teases the huge conflict in Kate's future, but also all of the new changes that Gears 5 is bringing to the Gears series. 
Please make sure to leave me a comment down below telling me what you think. Are you guys excited for Gears 5, E3 and all of the crazy stuff that is about to happen up real soon? Let me know in the comment section definitely as well. Is this real or fake? You know, you guys can let me know based on your own personal opinions. So there you have it guys, my full discussion and speculation on the official box cover artwork, a potential release date and so much more upcoming in Gears of War 5. Give the video a thumbs up and share if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you aren't already. Thank you for watching and as always, I shall see you in the next one.